In today's video, learn how to do this smooth transition for your Google Slides presentation. Let me show you what I've done. I'm going to go to slideshow right here. So here's my presentation transitioning smoothly to the next slide. One more time. There you have it. And I'm going to show you the basic principle on how to do this smooth transition right here. Let's get started. So here are the slides that I've created. So basically what I did would be to have the same color for the end of my first slide and the beginning of my second slide. So it's orange color for the end of my first slide and again the same color for the beginning of my second slide. Let's try and recreate that. We're going to start with a blank slide. Let me drag it down right here. There we go. So in my example, we have an image. So what I've done here is actually a shape. Let's go ahead and do that. So first, let's go and insert our image right here. Go to Insert, select Image. Select the source of your image. I'm just going to go to search the web. Type in your keyword and then select the image that you want to insert. Once you have your image, now we're going to create a shape. Go to shape in the toolbar, select shapes, and select a rectangle. Go ahead and create your shape right here. Make the proper adjustments. So one thing to remember when creating your shape, make sure that it overlaps at the end of your slide. So it doesn't leave any gaps of white lines in between our slides. So this is our first slide and we're just going to format it by putting the border color to transparent and then fill color to any color of your choice. So I'm going to follow the same color scheme as my example slides. We're going to go orange. There we have it. Now you'll see there's a white line right there. Just adjust your shape or your image. And there we go. So that's our first slide. Let's create our second slide. Again, go to new slide with layout, select blank. Now what I'm going to do is to just copy this shape right here to make it faster. We don't need to create another shape. All we have to do is just copy and change the format or the color. So we have the same color. Now again, make sure it overlaps the end of our slide. There we go. Let's copy and paste this again for our next color scheme. There we go. Now for the fill color, it's going to be color blue. And there you have it. So the second most important thing for this transition would be to apply an actual transition called slide from the right. So let's go to transition right here in the toolbar. Right now, no transition is applied. But if we select our transition type right here, we're going to be doing slide from right. Click on that and then adjust the duration to 2.5 seconds. And there you have it. Now, if we click on play and see what this would look like. There we have it. We have a smooth transition from our first slide on to our next slide. Now let's close that and duplicate this one to recreate our third slide. Now for this third slide, we're just going to interchange the color. So I'm going to drag this rectangular shape right here and this one to this side. There you have it. Again, make sure it's overlapping. Since this is just a duplicate of this slide, the same transition has already been applied to this one as well. We have slide from right and the duration of 2.5 seconds. If we click on play, this is what it's going to look like. And there you have it. Now, if we select this one as our first slide and start our slideshow, if we click onto the next slide, there we have our smooth transition from the first to the second and the second to the third. And there you have it. Now you've learned the basic principles on creating this smooth transition for your Google Slides presentation. Now, if you want to learn more on how to create templates for your Google Slides presentation, do check out our other videos. And there you have it. That's how to create a smooth transition for your Google Slides presentation. 
Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.